This is Turmion Kätilet and you're watching Grim TV. How are you guys doing today? Well, uh, quite well. Quite well. I don't know what is well or what is uh, uh, the worst thing. Yeah. We don't know about that, but uh, we manage. We manage day to day and, um, well, actually I feel quite happy about the forthcoming Ice Hall concert that we are going to have, so just waiting for that. No anticipation or anything like that, just waiting for the moment to... <laughs> I think I'm getting a little bit anxious or like nervous. Okay. In a, in a good way, I, not I, like I'm yeah. worrying about it, more like... I'm, can we go? You can go. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> yeah, that kind of anxiety, of course. Just waiting to kick the ass. Yeah, and naturally the album comes next Friday, finally. But that I one think, day earlier. Yeah, but in a way, I think it's of course it's a big thing the album comes, but the album has been ready for us already for a half a year or something like that. Uh, maybe more. Maybe, maybe, maybe more. Uh, some of the songs have been ready for two years yeah. or more. So we know that she. Yeah, but you so, don't know. <laughs> so of course we are waiting for it to be released. But for us, we already know the album naturally. Mm -hmm. So it's not, not so new thing for us. No. But glad that we finally get that chapter to its end. And uh, of course, there is the uh, excitement of the response for yes. our radical material that we are going to release. So. Mm. Uh, Hopefully, it's going to split uh, audience mm -hmm. in some way. That would be my. Then I'm in the goal. If it splits, like Turmion Ketilet is now shit. It's <laughs> ruined. I like the older Turmion Ketilet. Okay, please listen to the older Turmion Ketilet. <laughs> and in the meanwhile, we get thousands of more people listening to the new Turmion Ketilet uh, band always need to develop because um, evolve yeah uh, evolution is like the must thing in this industry for our music because it's kind of a thing that we do a little bit for ourselves and uh, like scientists to experiment more and more and more and different stuff so when we started this band uh, years ago, 20 years ago, the rule was there is no rules. You can have samba, bossa nova, tango, metal, uh, dress, black metal, anything. And uh, the goal was to do whatever we want to do next to shuffle the pack. Like, what the fuck is this music? That, that, that is different than the earlier album, like the first album. Second album is... Uh, I don't like it anymore. <laughs> and the other guys are... Ooh, fuck, yeah, disco, techno. And then comes the album like more metal and stuff like that. And, oh, yeah. So that is our goal. To be universal. There is no genres in our... But... Always... When we open our mouths, it's turbulent. <laughs> <laughs> it's not not anymore. You can't beautiful bossa nova. <laughs> or du -du 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 -du. But I think the main reason for that is because we are what we are. Even though we like to evolve, there is always this something inside us that always makes the turbulent get a little bit turbulent, get a little bit less what we play. Yeah, when the ba band plays the composition, it sounds always. So, but it's uh, the reason why we started that way was the freedom to produce music in any way impossible if people let us do it. Mm -hmm. So you will let us do it now. <laughs> <laughs> we will do it <laughs> and we are in many ways. And we are grateful for that. Yeah, that is. Uh, we are really bad persons. <laughs> we don't <laughs> deserve this. <laughs> no. But uh, we can do this uh, to 
for for the people and for you. So this is maybe we get some forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> we have really, really, really ugly lyrics and really bad things, but of course that's the opposite of love. So are we singing about the love on the opposite or hate? That's the question. So listeners decide. So that's how we are doing. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say that covers already. Hold on. <laughs> Why, <laughs> well, let's let's let's, let's pick in on a, on a couple of things that you've now already said. <laughs> um, yeah, I've seen a lot of excitement about you guys finally getting to play that big Yahali show. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been postponed quite a couple of it's times. It's a dream come true for me mm -hmm. and for the band. I'm pretty sure about that. Yeah, that is um, the party looks our kind of party. So no. and it's it's different. Hopefully it's different in a well, far it's gonna be. be. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen the plans, so it's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be big. And yeah. I think the main thing is that it's it's our own production yeah. for the big hall. Because usually of course we have been doing headline shows for ages, but like uh, it's always a different thing when you go to the club. Mm -hmm. We can do a big show in there, we can do a cool show mm -hmm. in there. But now we have a like a big hall and we have no restrictions. We yeah. have the whole show is our show yeah. and then they're support supporting us so yeah. we make the rules yeah. and like I said we don't have rules so <laughs> yeah everybody is going to have massive shitload of stuff yes <laughs> and uh, well we are going to go to the old ages and going to play the rare stuff that uh, our older <laughs> fans like and uh, maybe never heard before and uh, of course, new material, and of course, global warning, yeah. and it's going to be a long gig, so Good. you have to go <laughs> exercise before that. <laughs> so your, your hands won't be like spaghetti in the, when I when I yell. You put it like this, not like this. After two hours, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's kind of nice. To we hear. have water. <laughs> um, that's it's kind of nice to hear that there's also going to be some attention to. F like the really old stuff, because because yeah. I've seen seen a lot of bands that when they get to do that kind of big arena show finally, that they tend to focus a little bit more on the like newer stuff that they recently maybe got a bit more popular with and stuff like that. So it's nice to hear like there's gonna be some like deep cuts, so to say. Yeah, <laughs> yes. that, is, that is going to be from the start to the next album, and of uh, course we have limited time and. and stuff from every album yeah. yes every album of our yeah. history there, there cool. is going to be and rare stuff or uh, rare or, stuff too, definitely but you are talking about the we have limited time of course, of course. we have limited time so because we people have spaghetti <laughs> hands <laughs> after two hours <laughs> so we can they are going we to die play every play. album <laughs> every song Amazing. so we have to really like discuss what which songs we would like mm -hmm. to play and uh it was a nice conversation when we were talking about the set list when we were, were like a looking every album from the first to the Omin X, mm -hmm. like, a, okay, this album, which songs? This album, which songs? And we yeah. picked something from every album. It's, yeah. it's gonna be like a real cut through. Yeah, and maybe Ali just wouldn't have enough boost to have that even more extended gig. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a long one already, so. Yeah, it's gonna be maybe more than two hours i think <laughs> and uh, never ending show <laughs> <laughs> yeah we can we can push it more yeah i guess it's it's a good way to start your your year like your new year yes it's probably going to be quite the highlight for you already like early on in the year um i saw 2022 you've been quite quite busy as well <laughs> yeah um i mean finally got to do that tour supporting Nightwish and, mm. and such. Is there any like big highlights that immediately comes to mind there? Well, the first shows after the Corona, mm -hmm. however you want to put it, yeah. I don't remember which show it was, but I really remember the feeling that, like a, I, I wasn't sure should I believe it that we can do this. I was pretty sure we went, when we met the first shows after the Corona, that it was gonna be three, four, maybe five shows and then back to the lockdown, but mm -hmm. when we did more and more and more and then I get more certain that we now we are going to do this, yeah. the feeling and the joy and the, 
well, the feeling to see people how they enjoy and how we can make them enjoy. That was one of the certain highlights. Of course, I can say like a big festival shows or the big shows with the night, is, those are naturally highlights as well. But I think the best highlight was for me to understand that now we can finally do this and to see how the people want to do this with us. Yeah, there was definitely a hunger for it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you were talking about, about the Nakwish. No, I was talking about the first shows after the okay, corona. Okay, yeah, yeah. The spring of 2022, mm. when yeah. we made the first club shows. Yeah. And when it really started to look like that, we can do this, there is not a, not going to be another lockdown anymore. We yeah, that's, that was really like splittered. Yeah. Uh, concert there, concert there, not mm. quite at all. But... Um, the biggest thing for me when we managed to get with Nightwish mm -hmm. on the tour was to realize the, uh, how big is the thing that they are doing, how massive and how much people are working with 24-7 uh, with mm -hmm. that thing. Yeah. And uh, what I realized was when we managed to play like kick ass shows. After five kids, I kids kids. <laughs> <laughs> I have five kids. <laughs> but after five five about five kid kicks <laughs> shows <laughs> shows, I I started to realize that uh, it doesn't matter what is the stage because uh, this is the fucking same thing that we have done in a small club in uh, some pizza place mm -hmm. with kebab <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit more room yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and uh, the response of the audience mm -hmm. was the same so what the fuck we are doing this and this works so let's do it you don't know Finnish I speak bad English <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we are together so the music combines people like deeply it, it went to my soul I don't I have to think about it mm -hmm. <laughs> more and more and more about this what is music about yeah. because what is entertainment about some some someone is going to be a fool in front of you that you can laugh at him or somebody is going to play some music that makes you your Blood run differently. Mm -hmm. oh, what the fuck is that? Maybe manipulation. <laughs> so be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, had, I had the impression that like the Nightwish tour has has brought in a whole lot of uh, new people, like a new crowd for you guys. Because on on like a lot of the the videos of the, the new of the singles of the new album, there were a lot of comments like. Yeah, so these guys with, with Nightwish, like, damn, they're cool. <laughs> so it's cool to see. Like, like, yeah, it's really good to see, and really, it was, it was cool to see at the shows, like uh, we talked earlier, like yeah. uh, when we first started our show, people were like, what the fuck is happening? Of course, there's somebody who already knows us or mm -hmm. have checked us the out. The front row was yeah. <laughs> yeah. watching, but like I like said, there's a huge hall, mm -hmm. so there's like I don't know. 5,000, 8,000, 10,000 people or, or less. At the floor. floor. Yeah. So they were like, uh, first uh, first from starts and they're like, what the fuck is happening here? And it's like, a, they're like a digging it, but they're still, still like processing, processing it, what they are seeing. And usually around the second song, they start to like uh, poke their friends. This is, yeah, this is cool, this is cool. <laughs> you, can, you can see those. Yeah, yeah. People mm. yeah. talking to them. And then pointing yes. at this is something. And mm. then they raise their phones and I want to, <laughs> I have to take this. Yeah. And around the third or fourth song, they're already parting yeah. their asses off. And that, that, was a, that was a new kind of thing. Maybe a shock. Yeah, maybe mm. a shock. But that was a new kind of thing because in Finland, well... To be, they know what to, they yeah, get. To, to put it boldly, they come and they know what they are getting and most of all people usually know us more or less already. Yeah. So there's not like this newcomer feeling anymore. Yeah. And this time they didn't speak Finnish, they only understood the disco and the gestures we made. 
and we were totally new thing to them. I I love to see that kind of expression yeah, from time, them. This time you had to convince people. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and that was also a good lecture or uh, place, can, place to learn to, yeah. to remember that we we are the entertainers and we have to beat yeah. them to have fun. I yeah. have to show them how to have fun. And of course, we were at the role to get the people started on the yeah. next band and next band. Mm -hmm. Yes, Beast in Black. We are the supporter, so and we. Always spoke that hey, are you ready for the beasts yeah. and the yeah. live fish? <laughs> and uh, I think that was that also did really good for the band mm -hmm. to like uh, yeah. in a way go back to the early yeah. stages when we have to beat the audience to be one yeah. and ready. meet the new fans. Yeah, because in Finland the new fans, <laughs> uh, well, they are older fans. Children. <laughs> <laughs> they know. They, they, know they, they already know what they are getting. Yeah. So, even though the youngsters, they are know us. that music. Yeah. So, so, so that is different. But the, and uh, of course the uh, language barrier. Mm -hmm. We sang only one song in English. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we. It would be easy to sing all our English songs. Abroad, but mm -hmm. what the fuck we yeah, are doing? That is now not our. That's not that is not problem. Yeah. So so. It was quite overwhelming to see how it works yeah. for new people, and then we went to the uh, like merchandise desk. Mm -hmm. Just bring some beers if someone <laughs> knows this, yeah. and uh, well. We got some uh, we got home, yeah. attention. Attention <laughs> there. So when someone came to can, can I have a photo? There was a line mm -hmm. after that when they saw yeah. it. Then we uh, the Nightwish and uh, Beast in Black had all those yeah. roll ups and yeah. fancy stuff. We took a cardboard and wrote <laughs> Turmio Gadiret is here. <laughs> we didn't well, leave really punk. <laughs> like, yeah, it was like a punk, but we are punk. Well, let's let's hope that translates into some uh, really good crazy parties when you're doing your own European tour now. This year. Yeah, of yeah. course. That would be... We will be at the desk. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. We're actually here kind of to talk about your album that's coming this Friday. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that one. All right. <laughs> oh, we have a new album. <laughs> yeah, be there, <laughs> uh, Like you were saying that uh, you're always like trying to evolve and, and trying to do something new. Um, that just makes me wonder, is there actually something like specific that you did new now on this album that you're kind of really proud of or? Well, um, the most dangerous song, mm -hmm. dangerous, is Kuolettavia uh, Vammoja, which is kind of a popish mm -hmm. sound. So I heard it from our keyboard player, who is composer of that song. He played that first riff with the piano stuff. And can we do this with Turmian Katilet or should I? use it in my own projects or something. I heard it and then I thought about, oh fuck, if you screamed that, that would be really sick. And after that, uh, my wife did some really sick lyrics, which are, <laughs> well, if child molesting is sick, that <laughs> sick, mm. that is, Maybe the best adjective for that thing. And well, we tried to keep the sound as mm -hmm. pop as possible because I like that sound. Mm -hmm. And different kind of tests with the lyrics, we did some falsets mm -hmm. and like beachy stuff that is we singing, mm -hmm. no ladies. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well, that is one thing, that is like one genre mm -hmm. to our catalogue yeah. again. So, but it went really deep to me. Mm -hmm. And you can, 
well, I cannot prove it. You have to see when I sing it. Then you, if you see my face, you can know it goes deep. So that is different for me. And maybe that what that song was also that kind of a song that split some of our audience, the older fans who like Teurasta ja Vertajalia, Tretöli, Viinakosua. They they don't like that stuff. And but really few comments, not much, mm -hmm. was like uh, I don't like this really much. But after like. Uh, how much is the time when it was released? One month. Few, one month. Mm, maybe so. So, so yeah. now they are asking again in our fan groups, mm. how do you feel about these singles and these singles? So now the Black Lamp is number one <laughs> because it's <laughs> sick and different. Mm -hmm. And uh, to be honest, I was expecting way more harsh comments about mm -hmm. the song because yeah it was really really lack of harsh comments but now uh, there was also like uh, cold comments uh, i don't know but yeah, now uh, after a couple like of weeks months, everybody seems to love everybody it everybody loves it because it, it's um well i don't know people are sick <laughs> <laughs> we also yeah, we are only the mirror maybe maybe some people are already a little bit like um, softened up with they had that one song on on I think global warming that yeah. was, was a little bit more down tempo and a, mm -hmm. more, a little bit more like haunting not the usual like yeah pumping stuff so maybe some of those were already a little bit like tendered maybe <laughs> so maybe so and that, that is also the pack shuffling mm -hmm. we need yeah. to shuffle the pack to yeah. keep it interesting yeah. and first of all interesting for us. Uh, I don't like to sing 20 years of Teorostaja, mm -hmm. but I have done it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say at first when, when, I, when I heard that, that song, like, like in, in the beginning of the song, it somewhat reminded me of the, the little bit more um, like down-tempo songs of like Rammstein and stuff like that. Yeah. Like it, it really had like a yeah, yeah, no, kind no, of no, song, no, song, no, song, no, song yeah. kind yeah. of yeah. Yeah. stuff. Yeah. I, I get, really I like the song. Here comes the sun. Yeah. So kind that of, kind of uh, yeah. like kind of slow, yeah. slow, slow tempo vibe. stuff. Yeah. That is absolutely one influence mm -hmm. for this stuff. Yeah, and the melancholic. Yeah. But we have this Finnish melancholic, <laughs> which, is, which is deadly <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> I was always compared more to like a Finnish Sunny or something like mm -hmm. that, like a really pop star. Mm -hmm. But with the more melancholic twist. But now, now that you mentioned it, I can, I can understand the sonic comparison like as well. Along, yeah. along the, further along the song, then yeah, you, yeah, you get yeah. the Jeremy yeah. look like signature Actually, thing in there. But yeah. it, like at first, I was like, hey, this sounds kind of Rammstein y. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, well, we have to keep our, like, if you are a golfer. Mm -hmm. And you know everything. You have to do tricks to entertain yourself. So, yeah. of course, uh, when we, when I, I think I've developed a lot with my singing, and I'm, I have much more range to sing nowadays than the earlier days. Mm -hmm. And the Corona time did, which is a curse word. Fuck Corona. <laughs> that is a maybe conspiracy. Somebody needs money, not me. I'm the joker. I don't need money. I need the government. Give me, give me money. <laughs> but uh, so what? What I was talking about? About uh, how we made songs. Yeah. The corona time. So the corona time gave us time to test out yeah. things. So like with singing, mm -hmm. with machines, Composing, machines and everything. And everything. So yeah. it was kind of a <clears throat> stage up with the musical stuff mm -hmm. with us. We have lots of stuff to <laughs> show you because we have like really harsh sounds yeah. that uh, yeah. will drill 
through the brain. What? Yeah, and like talking also like visually, I noticed um, there's like a returning panda. Yeah. <laughs> what is that about? I think it's more more <laughs> like a question for the Rauli, the director of the music videos. Mm -hmm. But uh, I like the character. Yeah, the panda is um, first time in dance panic. Yeah. Panda commander. And uh, maybe you can see it at the ice hole also. <laughs> the real panda commander. <laughs> Not the kid who is mm -hmm. uh, yeah. trying to be panda commander. Maybe. Maybe. Hopefully he gets there. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, well, it's about like superheroes mm -hmm. and uh, like media and television. Yeah. Uh, the girl has seen Panda Commander who will slaughter the bad guys, <laughs> yeah. which were cops <laughs> 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 in the video. <laughs> and uh, and uh, that is the safe place for him. Uh, her, her, her. So yeah. it's kind of um, scary, symbolic stuff that she yeah. made it from the paper and put it in the head. And yeah. I like that um, psychological stuff. That and the whole that scene is quite terrifying. And mm -hmm. I, when she really puts that masks on and goes with the hammer to the yeah. mothers. Yeah. Room, but when the mother finds out, there is no block, but head is turned around. Mm. Yeah, I just I thought it was an interesting link with that dance panic video, and then there's yeah. a video game with mm. the panda, and then the panda is there. Like, the, what is it there called? are, in, in a matter of fact, if you watch our videos closely, you can find more and more of those Easter eggs. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's one of uh, symbolic traits of Rowley to yeah. put some yeah, well, Easter I was, eggs. I was gonna ask more about that, but it seems like. People want wants us to, <laughs> <laughs> to wrap it up. Um, just wanted to ask if there's any any other like big plans you might have still coming here. Like well, when is your Yellow Vino European coming? tour maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a big thing for us. Yeah. But uh, still, I want to focus on every show as much as yeah. on this European show. So we will focus on the Finnish shows more <laughs> even so. So yeah. we are not like uh, trying to get rid of Finland in any way. Yeah. Every people is. As important as, as yeah, important as of as course. But the uh, European tour is, um, of course, important because uh, we have seen what we have, so we want to bring it back, yeah. so it doesn't forget. Yes. Yeah, I was asking like, when when is your uh, your own yellow vina coming out? <laughs> I was I was thinking with the with actually, only X symbol and such. Oh, yeah, actually, actually um, <laughs> we had a uh, deal that mm -hmm. uh, Alko mm -hmm. would like to have a Turmin Kytilet Yellow Vina. Mm. But I don't know, it was cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> like everything. Yeah, but it, it was like a thing that uh, there was more... Uh, few bands with signature mm -hmm. Yellow Vina. Yeah. I think Viikate was one, mm. Turmin Kytilet was one, and mm. Kotiteollisuus was one and uh, a few others, so I have to call them yeah. <laughs> at Altia. All right, to wrap it up, any last words? Remember the omen. <laughs> we all are going to die, but <laughs> someone somewhere needs help to die. <laughs> right, thank you for that. Thank you.